ここが貴様の死を殺す神死にもやる What's going on, y'all? Spy Bowls back again, coming at you with the news, and、uh, we actually got quite a bit of news. So, first and foremost, obviously, I talked about the Chronicle Quest selection banner. I'm not going to do a Should You Summon on this banner simply because I feel like if you're a new player, you know whether or not you actually need these characters. I wouldn't advise anyone go like past the 10 steps. You'll see here one featured five star character guaranteed at certain steps of the 10x summons, five star guaranteed at steps three, six, and ten. Honestly, These characters, in my opinion, are not good. There are some that are good, like Fierce Battle Ichigo, for example. However, there are so many better characters for,、um, like, Mind Soul Reaper Killer. Like, him, his, his dad version, for example, <laughs> is significantly better. But if you need Chronicle Quest bonus characters, since Chronicle Quest is still, in my opinion, relatively necessary in order to progress with small and medium scrolls, as well as be able to farm up properly when it comes to. Uh, a, a little bit of orbs as well as、uh, bracelet tickets, bracelet accessory tickets, some hook yokus, paintbrushes,、um, revival candles. There's a lot of good stuff in the Chronicle shop, and honestly, Chronicle Quest is really hard to farm in a reasonable manner just because what people might find worth farming is going to vary between player. Right. Now, if you are missing a lot of Chronicle Quest bonus characters, having the opportunity of getting a guaranteed 5 star every 3 multis and then having it guaranteed a Chronicle Quest bonus character, in my opinion, is pretty good for a new player. If you've been playing for quite a while, it might not be all that necessary.、Um, I also will be getting back to streaming a little more regularly. The only reason that I haven't was because I needed to catch up on One Piece.、Um, a lot of people, I was talking to Aaron and he told me, he's like, yo, just stay off Twitter. Um, just, just don't look at anything that could have anything One Piece because you will be spoiled. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going ghost for like a week,、uh, fully caught up on One Piece. Damn, it's good. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. All right, so now into the actual news that everyone is here for. Available 4 17, 11 a.m. until 5 15, 10 59 a.m. Keep in mind, this is the time here is going to be Eastern Standard Time. Shout out to my boy Pun.、Uh, you'll see here in version 13.1, the use. Five, the use five soul tickets feature will be added to inheritance trial. Okay, this means that single player inheritance trials will not be available during the time below. Available, I'm assuming that this is going to be quote unquote available. The update that's happening will take place from 4 24, 11 a.m. Eastern. This is going to be Guild Quest reset for those that are.、Um, Familiar with Eastern and Pacific Standard Time. If you're in the UK, this is going to be something along the lines of、uh, it's like five hours, right? So this is going to be like 16 o'clock. So it's going to be like 4 p.m.、Uh, if you're in the UK. If you're in Europe, just that, that <laughs> it should be a lot easier to translate the time.、Uh, for here, this is going to be banner reset on the 27th of April. So this is going to be an update that takes place for three whole, almost three whole days. All right. So this, if you don't see inheritance trial upon Um, daily reset starting on the 24th next week. You don't don't panic, it, it, it's just they're updating it. Okay,、um, so starting Wednesday on the 27th at 3 a.m., that's going to be when the、uh, banner information will probably be dropping. That is going to be when Inheritance Trial single player will be back. They did not say that co op will be down. And you'll see here after the update, the Use Five Soul Tickets feature will now be available in both single player and co op. Also, the amount of times a single player quest will now be increased from three to five per week. This, in my opinion, is a really, really great quality of life function for people that are end game or mid game trying to get into end game. Being able to not have to grind. Times one runs for a T20 character is going to make life a lot more convenient for players that want to just play at their own pace or just want to toss in a times five run for free. Remember that when you join a co op lobby, if you're doing a times five run, you don't have to spend soul tickets for the first run. I think that that is going to be really nice being able to do that in IT.、Um, I'm hoping that IT becomes a little more regularly available so that way we can do it whenever we want instead of having to.、Uh, Go based on their cycle of eight hours, three hours, then eight hours. I still don't understand why they bother to do that in the first place. Uh, so, uh, with this said and done, we have now, in my opinion, changed quite a lot 
together. And I'm not saying my community, but like our community as a whole, we've gotten uh, times five epic raids. We got times five IT a lot sooner than I expected them to do it, which is really, really good. And we finally took them long enough, but we finally got them to freaking do um, the accessory reroll brush uh, quality of life update that we've been wanting for literally like five years. Now, that being said, I would love for you guys to tell me in the comments below what you guys are having a problem with when it comes to the game as a whole. Like, what is annoying you that keeps you from wanting to play the game? Like, personally, what I'm noticing is um, the collected gift box for me. Personally, I think the collected gift box is way too outdated. I think that when you do a times five run on the point event, the resources that you get from that should immediately be picked up and put into your inventory unless it is a soul ticket. If it's like times three soul tickets, I would love for that to go into my gift box, but I don't want to have to go through 30 to 70 pages every time I decide to actively play and do the point event. I don't like having to pick up my crystals and jewels and coins because they get um, mixed in with the orbs. Like if you're getting orbs, why do I have to pick them up for my gift box? Why are they not just being given to me? There is no, there. you'd have to be a complete masochist and hate yourself if you're willing to just have the gift box expire with orbs in them like I, I feel like that's dumb i think that the gift box should be held for soul tickets from the point event um events that k-lab does like oh for like 42 million download celebration here's a five star ticket here's some orbs um you have to log in and then pick them up because uh, obviously you have to log in and pick them up something like that would be great but we'll see exactly what goes down uh the collect gift box is a problem for me as well as the retrying with friends i, I think that being able to retry co-op with friends would be really nice too not really sure how caleb is going to want to handle that but either way let me know in the comments below what you guys would like changed last but not least we do have information on the next bankai live stream you'll see here bleach brave souls spring bankai live 2022 the voices of ichigo uryu byakia and sajin are going to be confirmed as special guests you'll see here that this is going to take place april 26 um 8 p.m jst i i i to this day after six years i still do not know the conversion of this time um i could probably just google it <laughs> let me we're, we're, we're gonna google it together 20 JST JST to EST this is going to be thirteen hours ahead. So this is gonna be seven AM Eastern Standard Time, noon for the UK, th uh, four AM for Pacific Standard Time, and um 8 p.m. for Japan. <laughs> All right, so that's going to be pretty nice to know. So this is going to be the 26th. This is going to be on Tuesday. Now, we don't know if we're going to get banner information then, but we should get banner information on the 27th at banner reset. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But okay, so 7 a.m. on the 26th. Uh, Tuesday so that's gonna be good to know um, a lot of people are talking about potentially having a, another burn the witch banner I do not believe that they're gonna be doing another burn the witch banner I wouldn't be surprised if they announce another spirits are forever with you banner You'll see that they actually put Don Kanonji as the front and center on this thing So it might uh, go for something like um, we might actually get the new Gin and uh, was it Gin and Mayuri that we were missing from round one? They did announce round two for Spirits Are Forever With You. It's still really, really weird that they kind of um, skipped Mayuri and Gin and came out with Kenpachi Retsu and then Yoroichi and Soifan. Don't get me wrong. Love all four of those characters. Love their designs. I think they're, they're all really cool and they're really strong characters, which is awesome. But I'm still missing my Gin, bro. <laughs> and they even came out with a Fierce Battle Gin four months like four four and a half months after like retsu came out like come on man. either way i'm gonna leave it at that let me know in the comments below what you guys are interested in um for like trying to change as a community we did come together we've been wanting epic raids times five for a long time we've wanted times five it from the start i'm actually surprised that they put out times five it so soon which is awesome personally i think it's awesome anyways and then uh, the re the accessory reroll change is definitely something that I think uh, everyone can get behind, even though it did take forever for it to come in. But either way, I'm gonna leave it there. Just grind on, catch up, and stay blessed. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. If you enjoyed this video, you have a great day, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.